Hey guys, welcome back to Lux Life TV. If you guys are new to my channel, then thank you for stopping by. And if you guys have been here before and you guys are returning, or if you're subscribers, or if you're not, and you guys just like watching the one-off random video that I make, then uh, thank you for coming back. Um, my channel's basically been about um, life hacks, how you can live like, you know, a Lux life, but not by spending so much money. Um, as of late, most of my videos have been geared towards bags. So if you guys like talking about bags, you guys love handbags like I do, um, then my channel might be something you're interested in. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, then please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you guys are notified every time I make a video. Um, today's video, actually, I was going to talk about something else. Um, there was a um, order that I was waiting for, but it hasn't come in yet. Instead, I want to talk about Dooney. Now, I've talked about Dooney and Burke, I think, um, quite a few videos ago. And the reason I want to talk about it again, first off, is because they had an amazing sale. And I grabbed two items, one of which was discontinued a while ago. And I do own um, the, one of these items, but in a different color. And um, I noticed one thing. If you guys are um, familiar with the I Love Dooney website, then the item I'm going to talk about is available on that site in other colors. So without being really weird and sketchy, let me just tell you what I'm talking about. This is the Florentine um, tulip tote or shopper, I think. And I have this in chestnut. So when I saw that they had it, and mind you, I wasn't looking for it. It just popped up on the website. And they discontinued this bag a long time ago, and it's back. Now, um, they don't have every color available in it. The Isle of Dooney site, I think, has it in, like, a red, I think natural, and I think they have it in um, navy and black. Whereas on the Dooney site itself, um, and remember, the Dooney site is where you can get Dooney pay, where they charge you, like, once every month for four months. Um, they only had the navy. So do check it out. Um... This tote is one of those totes where the handles will always stay up, but it doesn't bother me because they're pretty comfortable. The reason I went after this one is um, I had the Russell tote and I did a review on it like months ago. And as much as I love that bag and I was lusting after that bag, it wasn't practical for me because I hate it. You know, when you carry a bag and there's so much extra bag left in the front of the bag, it winds up bending because you're holding it like this. I never fill mine to the brim, so I don't really find that style um, appropriate for me. And this instead is literally the perfect size. Um, you won't believe. The last video I did on Saddleback Leather, their um, front pocket uh, backpack, I think, I um, took all of those items out that I was going to carry um, in a carry-on whenever it is that we're going to get a chance to travel because um, I'm supposed to be traveling for work soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. All that stuff actually fits in this bag without an issue. And it's not that you don't have to like place it awkwardly or it's filled to the brim. Everything fits comfortably. And the reason for that is this bag, you guys saw me hit myself. Um, this bag has a seven or a seven and a half inch, um, depth. You can really pack this. And, and the thing is because of the way the weight is distributed, it's not heavy on the shoulders. The only thing I wish though, I wish they had a back pocket like the Russell tote did, but that doesn't take away from, um, me wanting to get this bag at all. And uh, right now, this is something I'll talk about in a bit. I can't believe we already have garbage in here. So it has the standard um, two slip pockets in the front. One's a bit smaller than the other. And then you have the zip pocket in the back and the huge slip pocket in the front. And the key keeper, which honestly I don't care much for. Um, I admit it does come in handy when um, you want uh, to be able to like clip your keys or a wallet to this. Otherwise, um, <clears throat> I was lucky enough that the bag, for the most part, is smooth Florentine and it's not pebbled because, trust me, if you're paying that price point, you don't want a pebbled bag. You didn't ask for pebble leather, you, you asked for smooth Florentine leather. So this was on a super sale. Usually, I think 
these bags used to be around like 390 something um i can't remember what i got it for but i can tell you now it was under 200 bucks so this is something to think about now you might have seen me I'm just gonna throw this over here pull this out and um i have one of those felt organizers for my speedy and i was thinking of getting another organizer but i found this on amazon and it's got a shitload of pockets like seriously there are pockets everywhere you can get all sorts of prints i like dogs so i got dogs they have monkeys i think they have like owls cats whatever you want and it's nylon so you got all those pockets you have this zip pocket here you have another zip pocket here and then there's like another zip pocket inside now this is supposed to be able to fit i think in the speedy but i got this <clears throat> for and i'll admit i i was listening after this for a long time but i kept getting other colors because i don't know why i got it for this i know um i'm not late to the bandwagon i'll say this i own this is probably my fourth florentine satchel this is the size medium technically it's the biggest size they have so i'd call it a large i have um the same style in um crimson i had it in um lavender or lilac i think they called it honestly it's more of a periwinkle though i have the small in black just the thing though the small would be what i would call a medium size bag now they make this in um the mini then there's a micro or a nano there's there's like a lot of you have you probably gonna find the size that works for you in this style without an issue um but i snatched this because they had this on sale um the luggage tag i got ages ago so it didn't come with the bag i just threw it on there wanted to make it look a little different um i had a lot of scratches in this when it came in which kind of irritated me so um Again, I'm not saying that you have to do this, but I conditioned the bag because of the amount of scratches in it. And um, the scratches were actually like around here, but they're not so bad. You can still kind of see them, but it's not too bad. Now, let me show you. I got the crimson about, uh, I'll say close to seven years ago. And it's gotten a lot of love. Um, it was probably the smoothest um leather that i had because my lilac or lavender was pretty pebbled um i'll it's seen better days now it's gotten pretty um beat up um my crimson one i babied a bit more because it was so smooth and this is what my crimson one looks like um i was just using it about a week ago so and it is conditioned um there was a color transfer spot in the back it was like a blue spot because of my jeans but uh over the years that's gone away um so this is what it looks like now if you hold them side by side this one is a little bit more um stiff and structured whereas this isn't but this is the old style uh florentine satchel because there's no base it was just these this belting that went straight across the bottom and the base was really soft now when it comes to stuffing your bag and carrying your whole life with you um a bag that doesn't have that sort of a base can actually hurt your shoulders because the weight tends to not be distributed evenly with the new style they've put in an actual base now i know if i hold them up side to side you'll be able to tell the difference more i just hope i get this in frame you guys see what i mean this has a base this does not there um is this piece down here as opposed to here how it was where the leather joined this does not have a base and the bag will sag i've put an organizer in it and i still feel that when it comes to having a stuffed bag and you want to be able to be comfortable the new ones are how you want to go um it's kind of like when uh, louis vuitton came out with the bandolier for the speedy bags it changed everything this base I swear to you is a game changer it makes it so much more comfortable to carry all of your stuff because these bags empty are pretty heavy i'll say they're about like three pounds so when you stuff them 
and you've seen my what's in my bags like i carry a lot of stuff you want them to be comfortable on the shoulder so this base game changer um now if you guys are gonna um ask about the luggage tag i don't think they sell them anymore i haven't seen them on the dooney site or the i love dooney site but keep checking i love dooney especially because they do come um back with like certain discontinued items i don't know how or why i was kind of shocked to see that they had a tulip shopper back in stock which was kind of weird but um yeah you might notice the color is a little different it's a little darker i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell because of the way the light's hitting it i had this um luggage tag on my um uh, morphe backpack which you guys have seen i have used that overseas it's gotten so smushy um so that luggage tag was actually on that bag but i thought it looks kind of cute here like you know makes this a bit of my own um now with this bag i haven't doubled up the straps at all and the reason i want to draw attention to that is like i said the base helps the weight be distributed evenly so i actually prefer to carry the bag like this with the single um the single strap as opposed to doubling it now for those of you that might be a little new um to the style bag or this bag which i don't think you guys might be because there are a bajillion and one videos on this bag and if you guys want to uh, follow a youtube channel that does amazing reviews on the dooney bags you want to follow joshy michael and you want to follow the pecan tan beauty like outstanding videos um <clears throat> with this bag because there's no base what I would do is I used to take the strap apart and it's really easy to do that. You just have to unbuckle the strap and you get these two pieces, right? You're going to unbuckle it. And what I would do is I would attach this lobster clasp, both of them to one end. And I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Um, so that way you guys understand what I'm talking about. So I would attach both to one side. Now what's going to happen is the strap that's longer you want the natural side facing up and you're going to loop it through the other end. So basically this is what it's going to look like. You're going to loop it here and then you're going to bring it up. Once you do that, you take your first strap that has the actual buckle on it and you're going to loop the buckle on the setting you want to carry. Once you do that, you're going to fasten it. Your bag is going to look something like this, right? You just want to even this out. And here you go. You've doubled up your straps. Now, realize that is going to put a lot of wear and tear on this strap. And this, I'll admit, was a bit better in helping me like carry a heavier bag. Heavier bag. But again, because of the non-existent base, this proved to be a little painful as well. With this bag, the new version... Um, I stick to carrying it single. I have no problem with it. Um, the inside of the bag is no different. Everything is exactly the same. Honestly, this helps. Um, I'll admit though, like if you're gonna, um, the base of these bags should be about like six to six and a half inches, but because there's an actual added base, you might feel like the depth of the bag is less, but remember, it's gonna slouch like this. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Now, this organizer fits in this bag, but um, I can't really open up the sides completely. It kind of gets scrunched in only because you have to remember there's pleating. It's not a rectangular bag, kind of like how the Speedy is. And I'm sorry if I look here. I just want to make sure I'm pointing everything out to you guys properly. The Speedy is more of a rectangular boxy bag, whereas this kind of like, you know, the silhouette is like a teardrop. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, I will link this down below but i would say go a size smaller um i went ahead and got the large you might want to get like a medium but um this is a great idea this combined with the new version amazing now i haven't put it in the tulip and i don't think i will because the thing with the tulips um shopper is that it's already got a base and it's tapered so your stuff is not going to be rolling around all over the place um for the most part so I feel you don't need to use an organizer in this bag. I mean, each of their own, if you want to, you can go ahead. Um, but yeah, this 
was a fine this is something this style is something that i really enjoy even with the poofy jacket if it's over the shoulder not a problem um and i think that's all i got if i'm not mistaken um i do have something coming in from leatherology which hopefully i can review for you next week but there are amazing sales especially on the dooney site itself um i love dooney always as a sale but the dooney website has an amazing um they have like summer sales like maybe even for the fourth of july but um i if you guys are thinking of getting the medium size you'll go for it now because they're already discounted and even the color natural was on discount which i was surprised usually they don't um because the base of this bag is a game changer if you guys were on the fence worried about like you know how you're going to be able to carry the bag is it going to be too heavy try it out because it now has that actual piece of leather as a base so i think it'll be easier for those of us that don't want to really carry a heavy bag it'll be way easier um and like i said i conditioned the bag because mine was a little dinged up when it came in um these bags do scratch it's florentine it's gonna scratch but the best way to remove the scratches is just to let the natural oils of your hands um you want to just rub this uh the scratches in with your hands or like maybe even a sock and the more and more you do that the um scratch will go away i just conditioned mine because it looked a little dry if you're gonna ask me i would condition the bag maybe every four or five months um you will t you can s see how the bag dries out because especially with the piping is over here it's gonna look like dry skin so you'll be able to tell the bag needs a little bit of TLC. Um, I use the Apple Guard. I think that's the best. Um, there might be better ones out there, but I that's what I've stuck with. And I've seen um, that I'm happy with the results. Like if you guys want to try it out, always try out a small little test spot at the bottom of the bag where nobody can see it. Also remember when you're conditioning your bag, it will darken. Um, after maybe 20 minutes ago, it'll go back to its um, regular color. So don't freak out. And if you guys are going to um, go ahead and condition it, don't forget to condition the straps as well. You don't want these to dry out. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say about this bag. There are a bajillion reviews. If you guys want to see um, how I pack this bag or the tulip, um, do leave me a message and I will be glad to show you that. But honestly, oh, this is such a game changer. I am in love with the new satchels. So um that's all i have for you guys today and like i said if you guys want to um see how i pack this or how i pack the tulip um let me know and i will do that video for you until then uh stay safe uh take care and i will catch you in my next video bye